with Republican Senator from Tennessee, Marsha Blackburn. Welcome back, Senator. Uh, good to be with you. Thank you. Okay, so Tennessee having the largest single day of hospitalizations, the increases uh, deaths as well. We're going to put up a couple of graphics that show what's happening with the cases there. This is all according to Johns Hopkins. Um, in the meantime, this is what they're saying, uh, Eater Nashville there, about how this is playing out. They say, in reality, downtown Nashville's Broadway and Midtown have seen nights like this for weeks, even after Mayor Cooper's mask mandate and forced bar shutdowns. Video showing Metro police cars near the end, but as has been the situation for weeks, no one's taking action on the non-socially distanced crowds or the disregard for mask orders. What's going on in Nashville? Well, one of the things that we are hearing is Mayor Cooper has a coronavirus task force. And what I'm hearing from elected officials and healthcare professionals is they have been very inconsistent and very ineffective in trying to work and with the community and slow the spread to have the mask mandate in place. And as you pointed out, the hot spot in Tennessee is Nashville. And it is primarily, when you look at the breakout of what is happening uh, the demographic group, 21 to 30 year olds, that is the, the group where you have the largest number of cases. All right, I wanna try to get to a couple of other hot topics with you. Let's talk about China uh, because, sure. listen, this is what the, the political headline says this, as Jillian was just reporting, despite US demand, China refuses to commit to closing Houston consulate. You've been very uh, critical of them and, and talking about the idea of untangling US businesses from China. Uh, to that point, the Sporting, Sporting News says this, um, if she's gonna blast the NBA, should Memphis-based FedEx business interests escape her notice, especially given that the company sued the Trump administration in 2019 in a dispute over trade rules mandating that FedEx inspect every package shipped from the country. So, um, Senator, where are you on China? Is it a consistent position? Absolutely, it's a consistent position, and I've just put a white paper out about what we do about China, because that's the question that people ask. And look, China took our jobs. They sent us this virus. Uh, people have fr been frustrated with China for decades. You look at what they've done to the music and entertainment and publishing industries, the auto manufacturing industry here in Tennessee, and people want to get something done about this. The NBA has been very inconsistent. We were pleased to learn that they have closed that training facility in Xinjiang. That is a step in the right direction. But you know, Shannon, they are in uh, a relationship with Alibaba, with other entities. All of this is part of the Chinese Communist Party and the NBA needs to answer for their relationships. It's time for us to unravel a lot of these mm -hmm. business relationships with China. Yeah, and we also have to have conversations about the Uyghurs and potential slave labor there, too, if we're all going to be consistent in pushing against those kinds of things. Yes. Senator Blackburn, um, always good to have you. Thank you so much. Stay yes. safe there in Tennessee. Good to be with you. Thank you.